What's good YouTube, it's Globe Trey Stocks here with my first video ever on the channel and in today's video is going to be straight to the point, you feel me? We're going to go straight to it and it's going to teach you how to put an LULD in uh, TD Ameritrade. So basically an LULD, it's, like, it's not an official one, but you know, it works and it helps. Uh, so basically, it just tells you what price the stock is going to get halted up at and what price the stock is going to get halted down at. You know, TD Ameritrade doesn't have their own, so uh, this was created not by me. I think I believe the person's name was Leo, but uh, the whole copy the whole link in the description, copy that whole thing, and then after that, literally just copy me. After, okay, but this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like this. You see, if you look right here where my mouse is at, hot up, three ninety, hot down, or hot low, two sixty one. Okay, and now I'm gonna tell you something. The accurate it tells you what stocks work with it and what stocks don't work with it. Okay, so it's not always hundred percent accurate. And it'll tell you, like, if you read it, it'll tell you, I think it doesn't work for, like, S, like, you just gotta look at it, you feel me? Uh, I'll show you when I do it. But, um, yeah, let's get straight to it. So, copy the link, and then what you're gonna wanna do is click Studies, Edit Studies, Create, and then literally, and then you're gonna wanna erase all this, and then you're gonna wanna literally just paste. Paste that whole thing. And then name it if you want to name it. I named mine uh like a uh, halt halt indicator. I think I named it like that or something like that. But anyways, you see this is it. If there's an updated version, I'll I'll uh, always put it in the description. If I ever find an updated version, this is the la latest version he made. But um yeah, look, uh, it only works with the one minute chart. No other uh, time frames. Only the one minute chart and tier two stocks only. So not accurate on tier one S and P five hundred Russell one thousand stocks. Work with three or less stock price ranges, low, mid, high. Works with three or less time periods for each price range, open, normal, close. It's opening and closing hours and not used enter, same time boundary. You know what I'm saying? It tells you all that, gives you all the details. And when y'all do that, um, here's another thing. Yours is going to look like this because I already have mine activated, right? But yours is going to look like this. Like this, it's gonna have these lines. So basically, when the stock gets up to this line, it's gonna it, it should uh, that's where it might halt at when it goes down in my heart. I personally don't like these lines, so what I do is I literally just click this, okay? Now, uh, rule it's still there, the lines are still there. So if like if you find it and you just like and you double click somewhere on your screen, right? The halt, the not the halt, but the the window's gonna pop up with the indicator in it. Just click X. So it's like, it's still here, but now you just can't see it. You feel me? But yeah, that's basically how you add it. Um, Accuracy-wise, I'll say, I'll say it's more accurate for lower stocks, like penny stocks and stuff like that. It's more accurate. It hits more. Um, Like last week, I was in a stock and it uh, it said like it was going to get halted at 348. And then it, it did get halted at 348. But there's sometimes where it says it'll get halted at uh, 348. And it, then the halt will happen at like, 355 three, you know what I'm saying so it gives you an idea of where the haul's gonna happen and like I said sometimes it's accurate than others I'll say like accuracy wise 85% 80 to 85% that's my opinion and uh I also feel like yeah it's just a good indicator it also gives you just an idea where maybe you don't want to buy it uh, for higher price price stocks I want to say it works as well for like $10 up it's not as accurate. It's pretty accurate sometimes here and there, but it's not as accurate. But yeah, um, this is an indicator I wanted to put out there. I haven't seen no video about no LULD type indicator. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. If y'all do, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all, you know what I'm saying, like the first video on the channel. And uh, yeah, uh, many more to come. So yeah, let's go crazy.